be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up on the video. It definitely helps out the channel and it lets me know that you like the content or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now we're going to be covering another viewer slash subscriber topic here. Um, I have Osman who asked, hey, what do you do if you don't have a quick sampler? Um, and this was in reference to how to make a trap beat with a loop in Logic Pro 10. So um, for those users that have Logic, you don't, you haven't upgraded to the latest version of Logic Pro 10, um, and there's, you don't see the quick sampler or whatever, I'm gonna show you like basically, I'll call it the old school way of chopping up samples and different things like that right here in uh, the software now first things first let's go ahead and find a dope sample um, I have a sample pack but I'm actually gonna go ahead and just go to splice all right we're gonna sl splice and I'm just gonna say like trap melody okay and we're gonna find some type of trap melody here Okay, these are not sounding like trap melodies. Um, kind of weird. Let me just do that again. This should be trap. Matter of fact, I should just say trap. Yeah, let's just do it like that. Let me get something I haven't used before. So that's cool. We'll go ahead and grab this. I'm gonna go ahead and push uh, one credit right here. First thing I want you to pay attention to with this is the BPM. It's 110 BPM. So like for instance, um, I should be able to just, yeah, take this and drag it right in here like so. Um, the quickest and easiest way to make a beat with this is going to be to go ahead and match up your session with the BPM of that um, particular loop that you're going to use. Um, now you can also come over here and do like a time stretch and flex, use the flex tool. But um, I would say just go ahead and match it up with the actual BPM of your session. So like I'm going to push play. cool so that's gonna be the first and easiest way to like get started with this is to match up your session now if you don't want to do that say if you want to you know do this at 130 BPM um, what you could do here you just drag your session in here you get your uh, four bar loop and what you do is you just go over here to this like sideways or horizontal hourglass and you click that and then click this one that's actually on the track and what this is gonna do is call your flex tool you can be pretty much move the sample around here. And um, so that's what we're gonna do actually. I'm gonna go over here to the top and I'm just gonna zoom it back in to fit within this four bar loop. And when I turn this down, just so we can hear the metronome, um, you'll see that it's on point. Now you should be able to do that in most versions of Logic Pro 10, but again, like if you, you're not able to do that, um, you can always just go ahead and just use the BPM that the sample came in. So um, that's the first thing we're gonna talk about. Now the second thing is gonna be, um, we could actually come over here and um, actually, can't bounce it in place here, okay. so. Second thing we'll talk about is actually um, pitching this sample up or down, okay? So if you actually go over here to the inspector, make sure that's turned on, and go over here to audio effects, you could scroll down to pitch. And you don't wanna do pitch correction, you wanna do pitch shifter, and put this on stereo. 
and all of the versions of Logic Pro 10 have this. So what you can do here is turn the mix instead of 25%, turn it all the way up. And what that's going to do is give you a true, um, you know what I'm saying, a true um, pitch shift on here. So you can do, it has drums, speech, or vocals, or manual. You can just put it on manual and you can come over here and pitch shift this up or down. So let's just check, check it out. And then if you want to chop this up, it's this, um, you pretty much can just take this playhead, which is this white line right here, and you can just put it at different parts of the beat, or excuse me, not the beat, but the, the loop, and you can push Command T to chop this joint up and rearrange this how you wish. So I can just come over here in every measure, and we can just chop this up, and then I can just turn, come around here and move this bad boy around some. Um, just so it's like a complete different um, basically loop. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little trick here. We're gonna do Command A to highlight everything and I'm gonna push Enter to move this playhead to the beginning. And if actually you push um, the semicolon on your keyboard, it's gonna move everything to that playhead. So now let's listen to it. So that's that's something else you can do to this is chop this up some. So like I can even chop it up even more. I can just zoom in. I'm just holding option on my keyboard and this scrolling left or right with my mouse. Or you can do it on your trackpad while you hold down option. You can zoom in or you can come over here and zoom in. And um, I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and command T to, ch to, to, to go ahead and um, split this. And I could take that, I can hold down option and just drag this over here and then I have like a cool little stutter right here at the end. Just little things you could do to kind of chop up the um, beat. Uh, chop up the sample before you even start laying down drums and all that type of stuff. So um, this is a couple of things we can do here. We can start adding like effects to it. Um, that's, that's, those are things that you can do. Uh, but for the most part, these are just different things that um, can be done to avoid the quick sampler, but still um, or get around using the quick sampler if you don't have it in your Logic or version of Logic Pro 10, but still yet be able to do what the quick sampler can do. Okay. So uh, let's talk about reversing. I know in some of the other versions of Logic Pro 10 is it actually makes it very hard to reverse the sample. Like you have to like uh, click on it and come over here to the functions and all this other type of stuff. And that can actually be very tedious. You feel me? And honestly, I don't even see the option to reverse it here in this, this latest version. I'm using Logic Pro 10.7 now at this point. And so I know you can go ahead and reverse it here. You pretty much have to go over here. I don't maybe I have to go to file. Let me just see here. Yeah, some of the older versions. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, some of the older versions, and even in this version, you can just go ahead and reverse it by doing this. So, yeah, you just highlight everything and you just go ahead and push reverse like that. And I guess you just kind of have to click on each one 
under function and then you can hit the reverse. That actually came out pretty hard, um, be honest with you. So that's actually something that you could do as well to reverse, um, which is a function you can easily do with the quint sampler. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that you really would need to do? I think this is really just the main things that you would need to do as far as like chopping up your samples. So like just kind of go over it again. The first step is, or the first tip here is just to go ahead and match the tempo or whatever the sample is. So this sample is originally 110. You can match your session to that. If you don't want to do that, then what you want to do is click on this uh, flex tool right here and or this time stretch tool right here and then go ahead and lengthen it or shorten it or length or, or lengthen it or stretch it you know what i'm saying and then from there you can also use this playhead and use command t to just basically um trim or chop it up here in um in the workspace window and then third or uh, fourth i believe we can go ahead actually no that's, that's not fourth or if we can come over here and actually add this uh, pitch shift plugin on here. This pitch shift cut plugin comes in every single Logic Pro 10, so you don't have to worry about that. It's free. I showed you how to do that. You can pitch it up or down, and then um, by actually clicking on it, or you can go over here to the scissors, click on these, go to file, go to functions, you can reverse, and you can actually do some other cool stuff here as well. So that's going to be today's tutorial as far as answering the um viewer slash subscriber topic um make sure you guys go ahead and leave comments you know from time to time i do pick out my comments and, and see hey you know let me go ahead and do a video specifically for this because i think it might be helpful so make sure y'all stay tuned in man we're going to be growing this channel and got a lot of cool things up the pipeline in 2022. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.